Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day 14 of this juice feast. All in all, I'm feeling pretty good after yesterday's impromptu lunch date at Olive Garden. I was struggling with some cravings today, which is completely expected after giving my body some salt, oil, and sugar that it was not used to the last two weeks. I'm also incredibly tired, but last night was a very late night. Needless to say, I am very much looking forward to an early night tonight so I can recharge my adrenals and try to get back to a somewhat normal sleep routine. I started today off with a take on our grapple juice, our grape apple. I wanted to try to use up some of the produce that we have in our fridge because literally everyone and their mother has been gifting me produce since I've been talking about this juice feast. I am blown blown away by everyone's generosity, but seriously, when they give me this fruit, I have to have this conversation with them like, why aren't you eating this fruit? <laughs> you know? Today, I wanted to talk to you about allergies, just what they signal in the body and how you can beat your allergies. After all, tis the season. Let's talk about it. When we start to experience allergies, whether it is seasonal, environmental, food allergies, we need to immediately turn to our lymphatic system. Now, folks, I'm going to keep bringing this back because repetition is key, but let's break the body down into what it really is. In very simple terms, the body is a group of a bunch of cells, about 100 trillion cells, two major fluids that care for all of those cells and spaces in between those cells. Now, those two major fluids that care for those cells are blood and lymph. Blood being the body's kitchen, it brings oxygen and nutrients to every single cell. And lymph being the body's immune and sewer system. It is the fluid that carries all of these cells waste away. Eventually, that waste will move to the kidneys to be filtered and removed via the urine. When we talk about lymph, lymph should be the consistency of very thin snot or mucus, right? It should be able to flow and move throughout the body. Not only when we eat a congesting and dehydrating diet, but literally whenever we come into contact with acidic chemistry, whether that's the air we breathe, the water that we drink, um, the lotions and the makeup that we use, the chemicals that we put on our skin, all of these things our bodies have to interface with. And so our bodies take in this chemistry and they have to decide what to do with that chemistry. Unfortunately, a lot of the chemistry that we interface with these days happens to be highly acidic, which dehydrates us and our fluids. And eventually that lymph can stop moving and cells will continue to be burned on their own waste because that waste cannot be removed from that area. And it is up to us to keep our bodies hydrated and alkalized so our fluids remain hydrated and alkalized and able to remain fluid and move throughout the body, carrying nutrients to our cells, carrying waste away from our cells, keeping the whole machine running nice and happy. So what happens in the case of allergies is our lymphatic system eventually becomes so acidic, so dehydrated, and so sluggish that it stops moving that waste around. And eventually, if we come into contact with the same foreign proteins or other contaminants long enough and, and with enough exposure, those things build up in the bodies. And eventually, when waste builds up, the body wants to purge. Now, let's look at what time of year allergies tend to bother people. Typically, in the fall and in the springtime, whenever the weather is cooler. So what actually happens when we step outside when it's cooler out and we don't have a coat on and someone warns us that we're going to catch a cold or get sick, What's actually happening is we are triggering our bodies into a cleansing cycle. That cooler weather actually moves the lymph and gets everything moving. And it allows your body to purge the mucus that it has been holding on to. If you are at least somewhat hydrated and you have been actively working to hydrate and alkalize your body, whenever allergy season does come around, you should be able to at least move some mucus out. But if your body is highly acidic and dehydrated, your body is going to have a much more difficult time purging this dehydrated mucus. 
because it's not flowing. That mucus has literally hardened and the coughing, the, the sneezing, the spitting, the sputtering are your body's rather violent means to attempt to expel this mucus out. And because you are so dehydrated, it has to turn to these more violent approaches because it has to work harder to break up hardened sputum. As always, friends, we want to make sure that we are working on our kidneys and our adrenals to help clean out our lymphatic system. Our kidneys are king when it comes to detoxification. We want to make sure that we are seeing sediment come out in our urine because that shows us that our bodies are effectively removing our cellular waste. Let's not forget the adrenal glands and how important they are. They sit on top of the kidneys and they tell the kidneys to filter the lymphatic system. And working up from there, we also have the pituitary gland in the head. That is the master endocrine gland and it turns on all of the other endocrine glands, which include the adrenal glands. So we are starting to see a more holistic approach as the entire person and the importance of cleaning out the entire body. When it comes to clearing up your allergies, yes, it is as simple as hydrating and alkalizing. Increase your intake of raw fruits and vegetables. Have a higher emphasis on raw fruits for natural hydration and alkalization. Drink water as necessary. Listen to your body. Focus on getting proper kidney filtration. Make sure that you are seeing sediment come out in your urine. Pay attention to cleaning and strengthening and repairing your adrenals so you can have a healthy nervous system that will also help your kidney filtration. Make sure that you are continuing to clear out your GI tract. And by clearing out your GI tract, you are allowing the head to drain. The head sits directly on top of the GI tract. And so getting the head to drain, we are helping to clean, strengthen, and repair the pituitary among everything else in the body. So now we are starting to see a holistic approach to cleaning the entire body as a whole organism and not just focusing on one area over another. When we start to understand how everything is interconnected, we start to appreciate just how simple it really is. It may sound complicated at first, friends, but if we keep it at two sides of chemistry, the body wants to stay alkaline, where do we find the alkaline chemistry from our raw fruits and vegetables? The raw fruits are really going to clean. They're going to pull. They're very astringent. They will help to pull on that mucous membrane. If you need some additional help, absolutely get on some tissue specific herbal formulas, uh, especially if you have weak kidneys, adrenals, you may need some extra help in that area. All right, friends, this was a basic overview of allergies, what they signal in the body and how you can start to overcome your allergies. By any means, if you have any questions on anything we cover in these videos, feel free to drop me a message down below or better yet, send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That is hol-tox.com. Thanks again for joining me on day 14 of this juice feast. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.